Hi you guys, I'm trying to low sleep ponytail after watching this video, so stay tuned and let's see what products I'm using. So I am using some hair scrunchies, some Eco Styler Gel, Edge Booster for my edges, my Tangle Teaser, a rat tail comb, a soft bristle brush, a hard bristle brush, and this hair clip to hold my hair. I want to make a note, I did not use any water to achieve this low sleek ponytail, so that's what I'm really excited about. So I'm starting off by sectioning my hair and doing my part in the front. I decided to do a side part. So here I am just going in and pulling my hair tautly just to kind of gently stretch out the curls because I do want it to lay kind of flat. So I'm just grabbing this back section and I'm just kind of stretching it out just to give it a little, a little tug and a little stretch just so it can kind of fit smoothly into the ponytail. I am now going in with some Eco Styler Gel to start applying to this back section of my hair. So I wanted to show up a close up of how much I'm using. So now I am just going in and applying it to the perimeter of the little ponytail area and smoothing it down all over my hair, making sure to get the back kitchen and just smoothing it all over this section. Then I'm going in with my Tangle Teaser to kind of brush out or detangle any kinks that I might have had in this section. I'm not detangling my entire hair just around the perimeter of my hair where I want it to lay flat. So I add more Eco Styler Gel as needed to this section to really lay it flat and then I go in with my soft bristle brush. This really helps smooth out the area so it can help it lay flat and that's what I'm doing right here. As I said before, I add more gel as needed because I, like I said, I'm not using any water. So add more gel to the perimeter of this section. And then I am going in now with my hard bristle brush to really do the last smoothing of this section to make sure it's really laid down and detangled at the same time. So next I'm going to grab a scrunchie to tie this section back. I'm not doing a tight scrunchie, just enough to hold it in place until I finish the rest of my hair. So now I am taking a loose the sections that I had at the front of my hair gently and I am deciding which section I want to start laying down next. So I decided to choose this side section to help lay down the next section of my hair and I'm just grabbing enough hair to where I feel is enough that I can manage to really sleek down for this next portion of the sleek ponytail. So I then use my scrunchie to kind of just pull this section of hair out of the way. So again, I'm going in doing the same thing, pulling my hair nice and tautly just to stretch out the hair just a tad bit so I can sleek it back and the ponytail in the back. So I'm going in with some Eco Styler Gel and applying it to the perimeter of the section and making sure I apply a hefty amount and then I'm smoothing it down my hair shaft. I then again follow up with my tangle teaser to really kind of detangle that section so it can lay flat properly. So I'm smoothing it back to the section of the ponytail I did in the back already. So then I am going in with now my hard bristle brush. I kind of alternate between the hard and the soft bristle brushes depending on the section of hair. And as you can see, it's laying really, really smoothly. Now I'm going in with my soft bristle brush to really lay down the finishing touches of this section to really combine it with the back ponytail of my hair. So I'm going to pull that scrunchie off I had in the back section before and I'm going to now add the new section that I did into the ponytail I did previously. So a nice light ponytail and add some Eco Styler Gel to the parts that I feel like are coming up a little bit more and smooth it down with a brush again and then I'm going to follow up and go to the next section. Here is what my hair is looking like now. I only have a few more sections left. There's my side part and I'm going to repeat the same steps and y'all my arms were definitely getting a little tired but that's okay. We're going to finish this strong. So I'm going to grab this kind of middle back section to really start working on to really lay into my sleek ponytail. So again, I'm going to just keep repeating the same steps for the remainder of my hair. Now, I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to achieve this sleek low ponytail with no water. And when I say I did not use any water, the only water that I used was pretty much in this Eco Styler Gel. No spray bottle, no nothing. This was an old wash and go. I didn't want to quite wash my hair just yet. And I wanted to try a new style. So that's why I was really excited about trying a low sleek bun. Because oftentimes when I used to try buns, I used to get really frustrated because I would try to just do the bun all all like really push back with no sections and I was struggling so this method here really taught me how to do a low sleep bun and minimal time like once you get the hang of it and you get a rhythm you can do this hairstyle relatively quickly and it's a nice elegant cute look so I'm gonna just keep going through the steps and speed past it so you can see how I'm doing it and then we can get into the finished results 
as you're watching this video don't forget to hit that like button and drop a comment below so i can know if you've tried this style before and tried this method and just so i can kind of chat with y'all and let me know y'all thoughts on this process so definitely leave a like and a comment below here i'm just taking a minute to show y'all what my sleep ponytail is looking like now so now i'm going in and finishing the last couple of sections of the front part of my hair which are the most important so let me get right into it As we all know, the front of the bun or the ponytail is super important as this is the main area that people see. So I definitely went in and applied more gel as needed to really make sure that my ponytail was nice and sleek. So more gel, the better for me. And I really made sure I got the edges and really just kind of made sure I put it on top to really smooth out the hair so it can combine with the back part of my sleek ponytail. So now I'm at the front of my section. I really had one big section, but I decided to break it down into two to really make sure I can get that nice achieved sleekness that I was going for. And I don't feel like I could manage that with one humongous section. So I'm still doing the same process as I decided just to divide this one big section into two sections. Also, don't forget to make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you share this video with a fellow curl friend, naturalista, who might want to try this style out. And make sure you check out my channel for other natural hair videos as well. I'm super excited that this is finally my last section. Now this is the section I really had to work at. So I applied gel around the perimeter as I've always done before in the previous clips. And I really went in to make sure that most of my hair was kind of detangled at the top because this was what's going to create my swoop look for my sleek low ponytail. So I definitely went in with all my brushes to really make sure I was smoothing it out really well. And when I say my arms were hurting after this, they really were. But I kind of got in my rhythm and it really came out really Really cute like look at it so this is me just I noticed I had some humps in the hair so I was really trying to smooth them out especially in the middle like the crown of my head so I'm really just going in and smoothing it out with all my brushes and adding more gel as I need it so this is what it's looking like all around it's looking really really good and sleek so now I'm going to take this scrunchie off all of the scrunchies that I had on my hair and they're all off and now I'm going to go in one more time with just some general gel just to really kind of give an overall smoothness for this look. Now I'm going in with this hair clip. It's by Cantu and I got this from Target and I really like it because it clips and it doesn't really pull my hair too hard. And this is what it's looking like after I apply the clip. I think it looks really good, especially to say that I didn't apply any water. So I'm really excited about that. So just some few last minute brushing and kind of making sure that there's no humps in my sleek ponytail. So again, just making sure, adding some more gel. And now I'm finally going in to lay my edges with my edge booster. I really love this gel. It's definitely one of my favorites. So now you can just watch me sleek my edges how I like them, or you can sleek your edges how you so desire. Now, people who wear glasses, y'all understand when you wear glasses, your hair on the sides really does kind of ruffle and get more frizzy. So I pull my hair down. And I made sure to brush it really tightly behind my ear so it can lay nice and flat when I put my glasses on. So this is the final result of my sleek low ponytail. I think it came out really, really cute. I did my edges. You can do your edges however you like, but it's really nice and sleek. And I really like using this hair clip because it doesn't pull too tight, but it gives me a nice big voluminous kind of puff. So I really like that. So now I'm going in with my silk or satin scarf, whichever you tend to use. And I'm making sure I apply this on my head at least for a, at least 30 minutes to really set my hairstyle. But you can leave it on however long you want. But now I'm ready to take it off because now I am headed out. And I'm just going to make sure I fluff my puff. And that's really it. Thanks for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Because over here, we're fabulous, flourishing, and having fun. Okay? Bye. And